Okay everybody, let's uh, run through some elements of the character sheet that you may not be aware of, but you need to be aware of. So what I'm going to be looking at is encumbrance, and I'm going to be looking at weapons, especially with ammunition. So what I've got here is a test character, just got some skills, melee blade, gun combat. Um, you can see they've got no armor, no encumbrance or anything like that. And I've given them some pretty good stats, some pluses and a few minuses. So everything's fine there. I'm going to add some things to the character, however. Um, but before I do, uh, I just want to note some things around the skills. Um, if a skill does have a stat which is to be assigned to it for skill purposes and skill roles, you can add that here. Uh, so you don't have to remember it every time you go into a skill roll. So, for example, with gun combat, uh, you can use uh, either your dexterity or you can use your... So, with something like gun combat, we can use dexterity as a modifier. So I'm going to add that modifier here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just edit the item and you'll see that there is a modifier button and you can add the stat that's going to be modifying that skill and it reflects it here under modifier. So that's what I'm going to do for these, add that one. That one and one more. I'll add that one as well. For melee, uh, you can add strength or dexterity. So I'm going to go with, I'll go with strength on this one. There we are. Right, so what I've got is I've got my modifiers already in there for the skills. So I don't have to worry about that in the future. Giving me a total modifier of two. So that's one plus one, two there for those skills. Okay, we're going to be coming back to skills in a moment. Let's have a look at our inventory. I don't have any weapons or armor. I'm going to start off with armor first. Um, in the kit, I'm going to go and look for some armor. So I've got that here, and I'm going to just drag my mesh armor over. There it is, my mesh armor is there. Now, notice that I, I instantly get an encumbrance of two and an armor of zero, which is not optimal. Now, the reason for that is because of this little icon here. Uh, so this little uh, icon here is uh, denoting whether the item is in your backpack, is worn and equipped by you, or is in the ship. So if at the moment it looks like a backpack, that means of course you have to carry it, which is an encumbrance, but it doesn't help you because you're not actually wearing it. Now if I press that button, I change it from a person, and you'll notice now that my encumbrance is still two, but my armor is now five. And if I press it again, it's in the ship, in which case it's zero, zero, because it's in the ship. Um, you need to state what you are equipped with, because equipped and backpack all add to encumbrance. Uh, I'm not going to deal with encumbrance now, but it will be something that we will have to look for. Right, okay, so that's my armor, and that's what I would expect it to be in the game. So if it comes to the point where you're in a firefight or something, and I'm just going to check on the armor uh, of the characters, and you're not wearing it, then you left it in your backpack or in the, on the ship. You forgot to put it on, effectively. Um, right, okay, so that's the first one. Now, weapons. I'm going to grab some weapons uh, that I can use for this character. Uh, let's do something simple. I'm going to give them a auto pistol. I'm going to give them a assault rifle, and I'm going to give them a broadsword. There we are. Um, okay, so that should do it. Actually, I'm also going to give them a laser pistol as well, because I want to talk about that too. Right, let's start off with one of the easier ones, which is the melee weapon, the broadsword. Now, if I go to use that in combat, just turn into the chat, uh, it's not going to work, because as it says here, you try to perform a skill without specifying um, what the skill actually is. Uh, so I need to set that up. Um, I need to set that up, which is which is quite easy to do. Uh, what I have to do here is go to my uh, icons. 
and I've got icons here, refill, uh, object and edit. I'm going to go to edit and it is going to be a melee blade and that's it. Now I can use the skill but I could be picky because of course I've got that weapon in my backpack. It's not actually equipped so I'm now going to equip it. So that is now an equipped weapon. Uh, that's fine, that's good. And I can roll it. Just by clicking on its name, I can roll it. I've already got the modifier in there because it's using the skill with a modifier. I've got no other modifiers and I can just roll. I get a sum of nine, an effect of one, which is effectively a plus one to the damage. Uh, so this broadsword is going to do 4d6 if I press on the damage. I've got 4d6, I have to manually add the modified uh, effect number there, so 4d6 plus 1, and roll that. And my broadsword's doing a catastrophic 15 points of damage to somebody, so that would be a bad situation for somebody uh, there. And that's it, That's with melee, that's effectively it. There's a few other things that we could look for, but normally that's the way that it would work. Excellent, okay, so I've done that. Next, what about a gun? Well, I'm going to go through three of the guns here, auto pistol, laser pistol, and assault rifle. So I'm going to deal with the auto pistol. I'm going to equip that, and I'm going to assign the skill, which is gun combat slug short arm. Uh, and that's ready to go, so I can just use it and make a roll and everything's good. Yay, I hit. And I can roll some damage, uh, minus one to the uh, to this. Actually, maybe not minus one, maybe miss um, for this one because you need an eight. Um, so that's a miss in this, in this respect. But the thing is, of course, that this could be used all the time. So I can shoot again, and I can shoot again, and I can shoot again, and I can shoot again, because what's happening here is that... Um, Ooh, I'm getting some terrible rolls is what's happening. Uh, what's happening here is that I'm using bullets that are just don't exist, um, which is great for a gun, I suppose. That's always wonderful. Um, but you actually do have to have some bullets in that gun. So how do we get bullets in the gun? Well, we go to our edit button, and what we do is we go to the bottom, and you see something here called consumable. Now, you'll probably need to ask about what the uh, magazine or the power pack situation is for each individual type of weapon. But in this respect, uh, I can tell you that um, uh, the magazine for this gun is 13 rounds of ammunition. Um, so how does it work? Well, there's a plus button. And if I click on that plus button, it says, what type of consumable is it? I'm going to say it's a magazine. I'm going to say it's a auto pistol mag. There we go. Uh, I've got one of them, and it's got 13 rounds in it. And I'm going to create that. And that's not the end of the story. Let me just close that. There is a slight anomaly here. I have to go back to edit after I've closed it and use as consumable for rolls which is at the bottom auto mag pistol so now I'm using that auto mag pistol uh, auto mag uh, auto pistol mag uh, I've got 13 rounds in it you'll also notice it's added it to consumables at the bottom here as well um, I'm going to equip it so there we are. Uh, I haven't actually given it a, a weight. I should really give it a weight. Um, I'm going to edit that because a 13 rounds of ammo in a magazine is going to weigh something. So I'm going to say it's going to weigh 0.25. Now, I, I could check that up, but effectively, it's roughly accurate there. Um, okay. The next part is going to be the assault rifle. Now, the assault rifle needs ammunition as well and also needs to be equipped. So if I go to the uh, assault rifle edit, I also need the skill. It's a slug long arm. So I'll put it as slug long arm. Uh, I'm going to give it a magazine. So this is also going to need a magazine, slightly different. This is going to be my assault rifle mag. I've got one of them. Uh, I can't spell correctly. Assault. That's right, isn't it? Something like that. Um, maybe not. Uh, anyway, you know, you know what I mean. Assault. That's it. Um, 
and it's going to be a size of 30 rounds and create there we are uh, same as before same as before I can't actually could in the same move uh, actually use the consumable so I have, need to close this I need to go back and edit it again and I need to add this consumable assault rifle magazine and there we go you'll notice that I've now got two magazines my assault rifle and assault pistol uh, and auto pistol right so I've got my magazines in there so let's see what happens when I'm using these weapons in terms of attacks um, now with my auto pistol I've got 13 rounds it's fully loaded at the moment uh, and I'm going to click on auto pistol I've got all of my modifiers already there and I'm going to roll and there we go that's a hit and I could do damage and I can roll my damage for the auto pistol plus two uh, for the damage here so I'm just going to put it in here plus two and that's a roll four five six seven points of damage excellent now the more important thing to me is that it's used a, um, a bullet there it is so 12 it was 13 if I do it again I'm expecting that uh, 12 to go down to 11 let's make a roll and it goes off it does the damage I can roll the damage but you'll notice that it's gone down to 11 now this is the same for the assault rifle however the assault rifle has the ability to do a burst and the way that you do a burst is that there are actually two buttons it's not very obvious I admit but there are two buttons I can either click on assault rifle which will do one shot or I can go on the burst next to it and do the plus one attack DM which will do four shots so assault rifle just clicking on it will do one shot. Notice I've got 30 rounds of ammunition. So th assault rifle and roll. Oh, big shot. Uh, there we go. So lots of points. Uh, and that hits, and that's one bullet that's been removed. However, if I do the burst, I roll on the plus one attack DM and make that roll. And there we go. So that's hit there. I all will also do plus one D6 damage as well so I'll do that plus 1d6 damage um, uh, that's not an automatic roll for the damage unfortunately if I click on that it will just make another attack roll so what you need to do is roll the damage and change that 3d6 into 4d6 and make the roll and there we are so it does that amount of damage but you'll also notice that my assault rifle magazine's gone down to 25 so every time I'm doing a burst it's dropping by 4 so that's down to 21 and uh, actually what I'll do is I'll do one shot I think I could, this will work out I'll do one shot there we go <coughs> excuse me and let's do uh, a few more bursts so I'm going to roll there I'm going to roll again notice the bullets are going down all the time I'm going to roll again I'm going to roll again so I'm just shooting out lots of bullets and then I'm going to roll again now the magazine is empty what happens if I try to fire and the magazine is empty I'm going to roll again so I've been shooting away I've forgotten how many bullets I've used and then if I go to shoot then something comes up actually my screen's a bit small uh, let me do that again so you can see what it says you are out of ammunition you need to reload before shooting how many magazines have you got well you've used this magazine if you've got another magazine that should be equipped if you've got another magazine then you can load it and then you can go again um, but then you would need to have that uh, available if I click on reload nothing will happen I haven't got any magazines to actually reload with so the character sheet actually tracks not only the bullets but the number of magazines you've got as well uh, so there's no real excuse for ever saying that you don't know how many bullets you've got or how many bullets you've used. This should keep track of it. Uh, the final weapon is the laser pistol. So the laser pistol uh, is using the skill of gun combat energy short arm. Uh, and it also has ammunition, but it's one power pack. So if I edit this and add... A, a consumable which is a power cell name of it is uh, Laz pistol uh, power cell there we are uh, I've got one of those and each power cell holds 100 and create that I might want to give it a weight as well but I'll have to do that separately uh, so let me go back and assign the consumable there it is and that's done 
and I might give that a weight there. I need to equip it and I'm going to give it a weight of actually power cells are very very um, heavy so I'm going to give it a give it a um, weight of two which is increasing my encumbrance and I have my laser pistol power cell uh, for ammunition here as well and it works in the same way shoot my laser pistol and there we go I've done all of the stuff for it but that's going down and just in the same way if I go all the way down to uh, go all the way down to one and then keep firing it will run out of power and you'll have to replace it now what will usually happen here is that people will forget to recharge their laser weapons uh, and what will happen is that they'll end up with a dead power cell and nothing to use <laughs> so because they're so bulky you don't carry two of them around so if I fire it again I've got one charge left I've now got zero charges left I'm expecting the system to tell me I'm out of ammo and there we go okay hope that helps for everybody um, it does take a little bit of finagling around I understand that but you only have to do it for one character I have to do all the other stuff for all the other characters um, now you might appreciate and hopefully you do that I don't really use ammunition for the bad guys because they're not really around long enough to make it necessary for me to do so if you feel that, that is unfair um, I'll happily listen to you but I will still not actually do it um, but ultimately ultimately with all joking aside you have to do your encumbrance and you have to do your ammunition if you do not do it then it really does make a mockery of the game rules and there's no, re no real point using the rules at all because you are effectively using magic weapons that never never fail uh, and never run out um, and that's just no fun that's well, it's no fun for me maybe it's fun for you but if it is that the case then maybe that's a different game you might be looking for anyway that's it guys thank you very much uh, and um, I shall leave it at that